of the very nice features of the Energy Arm Energy Audit is the CAS calculator. The Combustion Appliance Zone CAS calculator takes all the guesswork out of the math that needs to be performed in order to accurately represent what's happening in the combustion appliance zones of the house. When you're within the audit of the Energy Arm tool, you'll notice a quick link on the top left menu called Calculator. This is the CAS calculator. When you click that link, the CAS calculator window will open. It's already populated with everything it knows about the current project. So you'll see number of bedrooms, volume of conditioned space, the actual CFM at 50 of air infiltration reading that you took, the number of stories of the house are all already input. Along with that, the CAS calculator has already calculated for you the required ventilation based on the building and the required ventilation based on the number of occupants that you have told the tool are living in this structure. From that information, it has determined what the building airflow standard is for this house. So our natural ventilation for this home should be a minimum of 1,283 CFM at 50 pascals of pressure. We're well above that building airflow standard, so you'll notice that the ventilation findings say that the home is okay. The building tightness limit of 898 is calculated as 70% of the building airflow standard. Now you'll notice that if our actual CFM 50 had been lower than the building airflow standard, but higher than the building tightness limit, let's say 1200 CFM at 50 pascals, now our ventilation findings are telling us that ventilation is recommended for this structure. If we had had a very tight home and actually gotten below the building tightness limit, our ventilation findings would tell us that ventilation is required prior to do doing any further air sealing on this house. There's an area to record whether or not spillage has passed or failed for the combustion appliance you are testing. The next field is the outdoor temperature, which was already input based on our energy audit information that has been collected. And based on that temperature, we know what our acceptable draft pressure is for our combustion appliance. If our measured draft pressure is not that high, let's say, oh, I need a negative, negative 0.5, you'll notice that our draft findings at the bottom show failure. If, however, we have a good draft pressure, let's say negative 2 pascals, our draft findings are now passing. There's a place for you to input your baseline pressure in the combustion appliance zone relative to outside, your pressure with all exhaust fans running, with your air handler running, and with your doors adjusted, the three different tests that you need to do to determine the worst case scenario of your combustion appliance zone. This is where the math can get a little tricky for an energy auditor. If our combustion appliance zone baseline pressure is a positive number, for instance, and then once we've turned on our exhaust fans, we have a negative number, the math between the two can get a little tricky, but you'll notice that the CAS calculator does that math for you. Not only is it calculating the difference between the baseline pressure and the pressure in the different scenarios, but it's already telling you whether or not that passes or fails based on the maximum negative pressure in the CAS that's allowed based on the combustion appliances that you have in that zone and how they are structured relative to each other. In this instance, we have an orphan natural draft water heater. However, if we have a natural draft furnace with a damper, commonly vented with a water heater, now we can go to a negative 5 in our combustion appliance zone, and so our CAS pressure is now passing. Once you have completed all of your tests, the CAS calculator will tell you if your draft has passed, if the room pressure has passed, 
and give you overall findings of whether or not this is a pass or a fail. You can choose which mechanical area of this house you are testing and which equipment you are testing within that mechanical area. And once you have finished your test, you can click Save, and it will save that information directly to those portions of the Energy Audit Survey. This has been a quick overview of the CAS calculator, a very handy tool to make sure that the math is being performed correctly and to help you feel confident that you're keeping the homeowner healthy and safe and your test results are accurate.